my second year at Makerere University while pursuing a bachelor's degree in software engineering. I joined this amazing team of four guys and I happened to be the only lady on that team. So by joining this team, I thought things were going to be easy. But it happened that most of the times I found myself together with another teammate of mine, Isaac, doing the coursework for the rest because they were always at work or they couldn't make it. So out of curiosity, one of those days we were talking with Isaac. That's the other teammate that we always worked with because the, all, the rest were always at work. I asked Isaac what he did during his senior six vacation. Because I personally didn't have a job and sat home the whole vacation and you know how long that period is. So Isaac tells me that he used to sell granites during his senior six vacation. And that is Isaac. That's the other teammate. So he would have to wake up very early and ride a bicycle from a village in Otoy Court, that's in Kumi district, for those of you who know eastern part of Uganda, and bring his granuts to a tutur market that's still in Kumi district and a distance of 30 kilometers apart. He would wait on buyers while in the market, but on days when these buyers didn't turn up, he would have to ride back his granuts and take them back to the village. And we know the distance, that 30 kilometers on a bicycle. So after hearing what Isaac had told me, I really felt bad about his situation. And Isaac went ahead to also tell me that his dad used to face the same challenge every time he took his, grand, his produce to Bukedia Market, that's in Bukedia District. This greatly affected their time at school because sometimes when he didn't get enough money from his produce, they would have to go back to school very late when the rest of the school kids have reported. So after hearing all this, I really thought to myself, what is this that Isaac is going through and his family? Atutur and Bukedia markets are one of those markets, many markets in Uganda that open on different days, and farmers bring their produce to such markets with the hope of getting buyers, but it's not always the case. So they therefore have to either wait for the following week when that market opens in order for them to bring their produce to these markets. Isaac, like many more smallholder farmers in Uganda today, rely on these rotational markets with the hope that as many customers will turn up and help them realize maximum profit from their produce. But as we saw from Isaac and his dad, it's never the case. So I thought to myself, something should be done. Because it's not only Isaac or his dad, but many more farmers out there are being affected with this same challenge. During our recess term, that's in our third year, I was lucky to be introduced to mobile application development. And here, in one of the computer programming lectures, here we learned how to develop mobile applications. And when we left that lecture, I went as, aside and met with Isaac, and we really thought about the conversation we had had the previous semester, about the different challenges they had had. So we thought to ourselves, with the knowledge we've acquired from class today, I think we can do something about this. We can actually develop an application that can help solve this problem. We therefore came up with a mobile application and decided to name it AgroMarket Day. This name was an inspiration from the market days that opened on different days in the various districts in the country. With the Market Day mobile application, we had the vision that the farmers would be able to sell their agricultural produce, get information about agriculture markets, market days, and modern farming methods in different districts in the country. I'm going to quickly show you how the application works. So for a farmer who is down there in the village and wants to sell their produce, all they have to do is take a picture of their produce, attach a price to it, together with their contact details, and then upload it on the system. This saves the farmer from the cost that he would have incurred while transporting his 
produce from home to the market and sometimes even have to take it back. But by simply taking a picture of his produce, he would then easily upload his produce and be able to access a wider and more profitable market. Then for someone who is interested in buying agricultural produce, that's me and you, because I consume agricultural produce every day of my life. At breakfast, it's food. Lunch, it's food. Supper, it's food. I'd simply go to the application, and for example, if I was looking for maize, all I would have to do is type maize, and it would return a list of all the farmers selling maize. So it's up to me and you to select a farm of our choice and contact them in order to get our maize. This saves you the time, because when you go to the application, by the time you contact a farmer, you know how much the maize is going to cost. And you don't have to sit and wonder how much is the maize selling in Nakasero, how much is it selling in another place. Because still with the same application, you're able to select a district of your choice. Then you select a market. For example, if I wanted to buy maybe Irish potatoes in Kalere market, I would simply come select Kampala because I know Kalere is in Kampala. Then I select Kalere market in order to view the prices of produce in Kalere. So by the time I drive there, I already know how much this produce is selling. In 2013, that was in my fourth year now, we submitted our application for the Orange Community Innovation Awards. And we emerged as the overall winners of this competition. Thank you. Taking home with us a golden medal and money. <laughs> this was a life-changing moment for us because after developing the application, we now thought, how are we going to take it out to the farmers? How is it going to benefit my neighbor? So with the money we had acquired from that competition, we started visiting several markets. And here we introduced the farmers to different benefits that they would get from this application. So on one of those mornings during one of our visits, we met Katende. Katende brings his eggplants and cabbages to Zirowe Market. That's in Luwero District in central Uganda. He brings his eggplants and cabbages every Saturday to this market and does the same thing like Isaac used to do. Sit and wait. If a buyer comes, he gives him. And if they don't come, then he has to carry the rest of his eggplants back home. So we introduced Katende to the application. And lucky enough, he had a smartphone. So we showed him that instead of sitting and waiting for this market, he could actually just simply take a picture of his produce and upload it to the system. So that's Katende offloading his cabbages that day. After telling Katende about the benefits of the application, recently he was contacted by a buyer who came from Kampala and bought his eggplants at 200,000 shillings, the same quantity that he always sold on this market day at 70,000 shillings. So we can really see that that's a difference because now, instead of him waiting at the market for all these buyers that simply came from around Luero and maybe nearby places, he was able even to be contacted by someone who was in another place. Thank you. We currently have 870 downloads for our application, and our target is 10,000 active users by the end of this year, because we want the whole farming community to have access to this application because we all know that a large percentage of our population here in Uganda today depends on agriculture. So just imagine the impact that an application like this would have if all the farmers in Uganda had access to it. Our goal is to bring all the local markets that open in these different districts on specific days to not leave them stay at their places in the several districts, but to bring them onto your phone. Thank you.